بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Dear viewers everywhere In the name of Allah the entirely merciful and the specially merciful I greet you with the greeting of peace Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu and peace be unto all of you as all of you by now you know after all these 24 episodes you would understand that the main theme of these episodes is understanding Islam we want to understand Islam in a different way that perhaps people do we understand Islam according to the texts from the Quran and the texts and the traditions of our Prophet Muhammad when I talk about texts from the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad I refer to the authentic texts of uh, the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad Today I have only one ayah one ayah that is very essential for all of us again it answers this difficult question you know that I have 24 hours per day and night how would I use them? Which part would I focus on? Should I focus on this world? Should I focus on later life? Should I focus on education and seeking knowledge only? Should I focus on working and heaping money? What should I pursue in this life? What should I do in order to live a life that Allah will be pleased with it. How much percentage, what is the percentage, the appropriate percentage I should allocate for this world? And how much percentage, how many, what is the right percentage that I should give to later life? Who dares to give the right answer except a Muslim? When I say except a Muslim, because the Muslim does not say it out of his own or her own, a Muslim who had already surrendered himself and got the answer from Almighty Allah, from his Creator. And that's why it's the one that we resort and use in our life. What did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say and specify, specify about this matter, which is so essential in us, in our life? So in this verse, Ayah number 77 from Surah Al-Qasas. Again, ayah number 77 from chapter called Al-Qasas, which means stories. Of course, it definitely refers to the stories of the messengers of Allah and the previous nations. Here, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, A'udhu billahi min shaytan al-rajim wa فيما آتاك الله الدار الآخرة ولا تنسى نصيبك من الدنيا وأحسن كما أحسن الله إليك ولا تبغي الفساد في الأرض إن الله لا يحب المفسدين هذا uh, quick translation of the meaning of these ayat is Allah subhanahu wa taala is addressing the Muhammad and is addressing all the believers, men and women. And he's saying, Direct everything that you do and everything that you have in this life and everything that you own in this life, direct it to later life. Use it, invest it, to give you, to help you get access to later life, to paradise. Wow, it's beautiful. Yet, don't forget the portion, whatever Allah decided for you to enjoy in this life. 
then perfect your work do good things as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave you a lot of favors and a lot of bounties and perfected everything for you perfect your work perfect your action perfect your words perfect your intention and don't seek and don't do corruption don't corrupt this world don't make corruption on this planet by any means rather or the main reason we don't do that is Allah does not love those who corrupt the corruptors the bad ones this is the brief translation of the meaning of this ayah and I wish that we go into details here and the first one Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala there says where should where is my focus where should my focus be on my children or my wife or on money on what what should I focus on here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes it very clear for all human beings your main focus is not on this life your make main focus is on later life this life will end very soon the life that we live in this world will end very soon 50 years I may die after 30 years I may die after 100 years if I am too ambitious I may die after 200 years then you will die then what later life that will continue and will never ever ever stop is there if you did not do well in this world in this life that you live now you will miss the biggest opportunity for enjoyment for eternity in later life we compare this life with eternity something that doesn't have an end which is better I think even young children can answer definitely it is later life al-akhira it's not this life this quick life that we live in is temporary so in everything that you do in the house that you are planning to buy ask yourself would this house be a good service for me to help me to access paradise in other words is it close enough to my to the mosque that would help me pray five times a day in the mosque is the university that I'm going to join is the specialization the specialization that I'm going to select pleases Allah are the course, courses that I'm going to select would help me to be closer to Allah and to access later life or is it something just for this world something to help me get some food to get a job something to be proud of in this life these are maybe sound to you good answers but this is not what Allah subhanahu wa ask yourself is this job slightly better than this job that would bring me help me bring me closer to Allah if the answer is yes take it even if it doesn't have a name a big name among those people remember that everyone is gonna die and this life will end and you want to make the best investment in your life the best investment in your life is you invest every minute and every day and every hour and every week in doing something that pleases Allah so that it will bring you closer to paradise this is wonderful yet while you are doing this right don't forget the portion the halal things that Allah gave you in this life to enjoy the halal food the halal drinks the halal marriage the marriage to fulfill your pleasures to fulfill your desires yes according to the wish of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and according to Azim, according to the will of Almighty Allah you do it for the sake of Allah don't 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 miss it 
don't forget it. You have to do it because Allah asks you to do it. Everything that's halal that Allah asks you, do it. Don't, don't abstain from it. Don't deprive yourself from enjoying it. But the main focus is where? Is there. So if you can make it, if you can make it 90% focusing on later life and 10% on this life, that's fine. If you can make it 95% there and 5% here, that's much better. If you can make it 80% there and 20% here, this is okay. But your main focus, everything that you do in this life should have a purpose. You're doing it for uh, investing uh, my life in later life to spend my time in later life for eternity. This is how a Muslim should think. Is not, we are not pursuit, pursuit of pleasure in this world, which is haram. We are by doing, by default, when we do what Allah asks us to do and when we abstain from things that Allah asked us to abstain from, we are doing the right thing and this is our task in this life. Not only that, perfect. Perfect what you can, what you are doing in your life. Perfect the shooting of the camera here. Perfect the presentation that you do. Perfect the manufacturing thing that you manufacture. Perfect your job as a teacher. Perfect everything. And in this way, why? Because Allah perfected your creation. And Allah perfected everything for you, for yourself. And don't ever try to corrupt this earth. When you throw your cigarettes on the street, when you throw the dirt in the street, you make some sort of corruption. When you make life difficult and hard for people, you are making corruption. When you abuse the use of electricity and the use of water and the use of these resources, you are corrupting on this earth. And remember that Allah does not love those people who cause corruption in any form on this earth. And you don't want to be in this category. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to show us the truth and to keep us away from corruption and from the corruptors. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.